Good morning. I'm late today. Shame on me. Oh, I don't wake up until 7 today. I was up and down during the night. I don't know why. <clears throat> Not really like a bad night. Just, um, just up and down. Awake and then asleep. And then awake and then asleep. So this thing kind of going on and it actually started last week last weekend was it I know I talked a little bit about how I'm just feeling so many people around me who are gone who are no longer living here on our plane and it's kind of been a week of nostalgia since then it's kind of funny the last couple of nights it's been about music and like um, downloading from Spotify some old albums that I had like when I was in high school, music I listened to in high school and in my 20s, <clears throat> and even some as a child that I remember my parents listening to in the 60s. Um, Aretha Franklin and uh, some Marvin Gaye and Diana Ross and um, the Beatles and even Frank Sinatra. I'm just like, hi, Mark. <laughs> Speaking of Frank Sinatra, um, yeah, I'm just like, like, really nostalgic lately. It's kind of interesting. I don't know why. So, anyway, um, today and this morning, actually have my BQH, my Beyond Quantum Healing Session with a lady named Crystal who is in Texas. And she's somebody who I've followed on YouTube for a while now. And, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, and so, I'm, and you know, it may be related to that why I'm kind of feeling the, that nostalgic sort of thing going on because I had to do some work beforehand. And, um, you know, tell her a little bit about myself and come up with some questions that I want to ask my higher self. And so I think maybe that kind of kicked off a little bit of a review period for me and looking at where I've been and where I am. And my main focus now for this session is going to be on where am I going to go? Um, what am I being called to do? Exactly. And uh, so anyway, I'm really excited for it. So I, that could be part of the reason I was kind of like not really sleeping very well and everything else. But it's all good. It's all good. I was uh, skimming briefly. I still haven't read the whole article. My mom said she read it in Consumer Reports about CBD oils. And it says, you know, a new cannabis cure for pain is the title of it. And, you know, there are three states that still prohibit the sale of CBD, which is not the part that gets you high. It's the part that relieves pain, that heals, um, all kinds of different things. And Idaho is one of those states. I'm like, you gotta be freaking kidding me. Come on, Idaho. Idaho, Nebraska, and South Dakota are the three states that that CBD still cannot be purchased. How sad. How sad. They, I feel like they're helping so many people. And, you know, there's not a lot of research on them because, another thing I discovered, just skimming, skimming, skimming this article, is that, um, you know, the government has banned research on them for years. Thank you, government. BS like that gets me kind of riled up. So anyway, I'm going to read the rest of this article, but it's becoming more mainstream. And so, you know, it's uh, it's good stuff. This whole article, or this whole magazine this time, is um, lots of information about um, all their stuff about what's really in your meat. Uh, that's the headline. Uh, talks about uh, heavy metals in our bodies and that's just yeah that's, there's some good stuff in here 
and unfortunately I just haven't had time to um, to read it all yeah there you go there's those those gray states right there those are the ones right up there Idaho where you can't get CBD everything the dark color of course it's legalized completely for recreational and for medical purposes so Arizona we do have medical marijuana but most states have have um, medical marijuana and C or CBD so not Idaho not Nebraska not South Dakota hello oh boy I can get pretty fired up when I think about how duped we've all been right so today's chapter moving right along is about it's called in our own element and this will make sense to you when you hear this poem a fish cannot drown in water a bird does not fall in air each creature God made must live in its own true nature and I don't know if I can even attempt this Mechfeld of Magdeburg I'm sure somebody knows what that is who that is somewhere in the Middle Ages in a remote part of Germany this introspective seer came upon the wisdom that living in our own natural element is the surest way to know the inner prosperity of health peace and joy her examples are striking all we have to do is put the fish in air and the bird in water to see the dangers of being what we are not of course it is very clear and obvious for both the fish and the bird where they belong not so for us humans part of the blessing and challenge of being human is that we must discover our own true God-given nature this is not some noble abstract quest but an inner necessity for only by living in our own element can we thrive without anxiety and since being and since human beings are the only life form that can drown and still go to work the only species that can fall from the sky and still fold laundry it is imperative that we find that that vital element that brings us alive I vividly recall my struggles as a teenager when my mother wanted me to be a lawyer and my father wanted me to be an architect somehow I knew I needed to be a poet something in it brought me alive the only one to understand was my boyhood friend Vic who in the midst of qualifying strongly for pre-med studies realized he needed to be a florist for something in working with flowers brought him alive this is not about being a poet or a florist or a doctor or a lawyer or an architect it is about the true vitality that waits beneath all occupations for us to tap into if we can discover what we love if you feel energy and excitement and a sense that life is happening for the first time you are probably near your God-given nature joy in what we do is not an added feature it is a sign of deep health wow oh wow how true is that I say that a lot I need a new line um, <laughs> kind of judging myself today aren't I um, yeah that's so true and you know I feel like I came back alive when I started going to school at Southwest Institute of Healing Arts um, that's how I knew what I was meant to be doing and honestly I knew that a long time ago and I chose to forget I chose to ignore it put it aside and not follow through on that and you know there were various reasons for it none of them are you know they're all just excuses of course but sometimes we have to do what we have to do to get through where we're going and I really don't get down on myself for that because I think everything happened exactly the way it was supposed to and 
if I had not taken the detour that I did, then I wouldn't be in the position where I am today. Um, and I, you know, I may have, I may have had a series of unsuccessful attempts to do my passion. There goes my pool guy. Hi, Tim. And to, um, to live the life I was destined to live. And so there are no mistakes. There are no mistakes. There are only missed opportunities. And that's okay. Mm. Oh, boy, do I need coffee today. Ooh, that tastes good. Mm. So, anyway, yeah, following your passion. What is it that, what is it really, really brings you joy? What do you love doing more than anything? Anything in the world? You know, we have to start from there. If you had all the money you ever needed and you didn't have to make a living or support yourself, what would you be doing? What would you be doing with your life? Um, start from there and then find a way to manifest that. And don't forget, I have my crystal Reiki grid. It's called a, it's called actually a piece a piece, not a grid, a piece thing. <laughs> My brain's not awake yet this morning, obviously. Um, but it is, it is, I put a picture of it on here yesterday. It's a grid with, with clear quartz crystals and fluorite. And I have am, uh, amethyst and uh, lapis azul. And they've been charged with Reiki. And if you would like to be added to my grid for healing, or manifesting or whatever you like then all you have to do is send me an email preferably an email with your photo if you are comfortable doing that if not I can use your name and tell me a little about what it is send me an affirmation of what you want to create like I am in perfect health or um, I am free from pain um, I am discovering my why. I am attracting the perfect new work for me. Whatever you would like to put on there, just send that to me and I will add you to that. It's between you and me. I won't discuss with anybody else what, uh, what it is that you're asking for. And every day I do Reiki over my grid and send it Reiki healing and send it um, send it Reiki for manifesting and creation and so Reiki works on everything Reiki works with energy and there's energy in everything everything is made of energy so I've said on here before you know I send Reiki to my car I send Reiki to my house we have big storms oh my gosh Reiki works beautifully to help protect my home and me and my doggy and um, you know you can send Reiki to your work you can send it to creating whatever you want to create. So <sighs> send that over. If you like East Valley Healing at gmail.com is the best email. G, uh, East Valley Healing at gmail.com. Here's our exercise for today. Sit quietly and inhale your God-given nature. It is as near to you as air is to a bird. Inhale and meditate on what you must be involved in to feel your own true nature. Mm. Regardless of the job you're in, how can you be more completely who you are in a daily way? As you move through your day, involve yourself in one gesture of vitality that puts you in touch with your own true nature. It's beautiful. Great way to start um, to start manifesting that. You know, be. You have to be able to visualize it and see it and um, you know when you believe it you will see it haha -ha. I'm gonna draw a postcard from spirit today I've been missing my postcards from spirit as you can tell so just drawing some random ones again here just just you know it's good it's good to have that little message I think so here we go my friends mm. Dearest you, selfless giving in an, is an 
a lick. <laughs> Selfless giving is an elixir so sweet and life giving and amazing that it should be customary for everyday living. Right now, generous generosity is being asked of you. Let go of a debt, release an obligation, or do a solid kindness to someone for no other reason than as an exercise of the heart. You will be surprised how quickly a generous heart is repaid. We know it often doesn't happen in the immediate exchange, so temper your expectations. Know that life has an uncanny way of sending miracles seemingly unrelated to your kindness, yet interconnected in magical ways. The more you act from generosity, the bigger your heart grows and the more love and abundance you will experience. We also know that someone could be entering your life with a generous offer for you. Take it and trust you are worthy and deserving of it. You have to receive, not just give. We love you so much over here. It almost makes me want to cry. Ooh. It's beautiful. Paying it forward. Being of service, that's really, that's the bottom line. That's what we're about. That's what makes all of our hearts happy, is being able to be of service and to give. And um, to give of the heart and not with expectation, right? So, peace and blessings to you. Send me your items for the Reiki grid, the crystal grid, if you'd like to manifest anything in your life, I will add you to it. Absolutely no charge, this is complimentary. Um, something I'm giving of my heart, right? So, have a beautiful day. And I'm so excited to tell you all about my BQH tomorrow. It's gonna to be really exciting. Love you, peace and blessings.